Hi, this is Roger Peterson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the requirement to register the shareholders or disclose the beneficial owners of any Costa Rican corporation or foreign corporation that's registered in Costa Rica. The law that created the shareholder registry obligation was actually passed a couple of years ago. However, we've been waiting for the implementation of the regulations to that law. Uh, now, they've just recently been approved and it's going to become applicable starting March 1st of 2019. So let's take a look at it. The filing deadline is going to depend on the last digit of your corporation identification number known as Cédula Jurídica. So if your ending number is zero, you file in March. If it ends in one, you file in April. If it ends in two, in May, and so forth according to the following schedule. Okay, so who does the filing? It has to be the legal representative of the corporation. So if you have an SA, that is the president of the comp company. If it's an LLC, it's going to be the manager. If it's a civil corporation, it's going to be the administrator and so forth. If for any reason you can't do it on your own, then you will have to grant a power of attorney to a third party in Costa Rica so that they can get onto the system and then file it for you. Let me explain a little bit more. All filings required under the shareholder disclosure law must be done electronically on the website of the Central Bank of Costa Rica, known as Central Directo. Here it is so you can visualize it on the screen. To record that filing, you first need to have a digital signature, known locally as Firma Digital. You can apply for a digital signature card, Firma Digital, at most uh, banks in Costa Rica. To get the digital signature card, you must be a Costa Rican citizen or a foreign resident with valid residency and a valid residency card. Once the legal representative has his uh, digital signature card, they can then register themselves on the web portal and then do the registration for the company. Some of the information that they're looking for is the personal identification on the shareholder and the beneficial owner, contact address, the one an email address to receive legal notices. They want to know the capital stock amount of the corporation, the type of stock, amount of shares held and distributed, um, and the registration of all shareholders that make up the totality of that capital stock. They also want to know what date that stock was purchased. As to the filing requirement, the form has to be filed every year between April 1st and April 30th of each year. What happens if you don't file? You could be subject to fines imposed by the tax code, which can easily start at around $2,000 uh, and up. I hope you found the video helpful. Once the shareholder registry platform is up and functional, we'll take another look at it in more detail and come back and do another video on it.